Hey, what's up everybody? Hopefully everybody's having a great Sunday. Um, I am just out walking my dog. It's actually a little chilly here in the Midwest. Um, supposed to be nice tomorrow. Supposed to be in the 70s. And I just literally was like, let's go outside. It's not bad outside. And it's like starting to pour a little bit. So anyway, uh, Daredevil has uh, wrapped shooting which is awesome so I wonder when we'll see our first trailer I can't wait for that so I've been seeing all kind of screenshots like I don't know this could be a spoiler if you did didn't want to know so um I'm definitely saying spoiler I've been seeing so many screenshots like set photos it's crazy like everybody has a phone now they're shooting stuff uh you know, when they were shooting stuff, people were probably taking pictures and videos, but apparently John Berthel uh, is on set. So, I guess he's coming back as the Punisher. Uh, he was, I guess he was supposed to be at Indiana Comic Con, which I would have been pissed if he would have been there and I didn't go this year. So, I guess he's filming some stuff. Are we going to get a Punisher series? I don't know. Uh, Christian Ritter has supposedly been spotted on set. So are we going to even get a new Defenders? Uh, there's even... Finn Jones teased something. Like he had a suitcase. I think he had a suitcase on his bed. He had an uh, issue of uh, Power Man and, uh, and Iron Fist comic. So I'm just like, mm, you know, it seems like a lot of people hate on Finn Jones. Which, I mean... It, Maybe you don't like the cast casting, but I think definitely it was the script that he was handed to, you know. I think if it would have had like a maybe, you know, better script, maybe people would have loved Finn Jones and stuff and everything. But, I mean, I, I don't think I loved Iron Fist, but I thought it was decent. I thought season one was decent, and see, I thought season two was a lot better, but... It's going to be interesting, like, going forward to see what they do with um, the characters that appear. I think, um, you know, we're going to see some cameos and Daredevil. Um, also, there's a uh, update on James Mangold's Star Wars movie. Um, Andor writer Bo Wilmon is actually attached to it. So, it's going to be called Dawn of the Jedi, which is set, um, I believe, before... Um, episode one, thousand years before episode one. So I'm wondering if that's going to be like a secret, like old Republic movie, or is it going to be like um, the High Republic? I don't know, but I'm excited. Like I love James Mangold as a as a director, so I think that's that's pretty exciting. So <laughs> definitely, that's awesome. So. Um, but this upcoming weekend, or I should say next weekend, we've got the re-release of Shrek, which I'm not big on Shrek, but it's, I think it's the 20th anniversary. My daughter's like, you're going, because that's like our, her favorite movie of the Shrek series. So I'm just like, okay, I guess, you know, being the dad, we got to go. So, um, I haven't seen Shrek in forever. And, um, the big one that I am super excited for this weekend upcoming next weekend is A24 baby Civil War uh, it's getting a lot of great buzz a lot of good people who've seen it it's getting saying it's, it's 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 fantastic I've seen a couple people say online that you know um it's 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 they found something to finally dethrone Doom Part 2 and I'm just like whoa I mean that's saying a lot I don't think it's going to dethrone uh dune for me but i definitely feel like it's going to be in my top five so it's going to be interesting to see which one of my movies on my letterbox it's going to knock down but i i definitely could see civil war being in my top five and uh i'm gonna to have to do a ranking here sometime today or tonight of my of the a24 movies that i have seen uh and rank them from my favorites but um yeah, there is a lot of A24 stuff that I still haven't seen yet. So, um, there was something else I was going to talk about. Oh, I guess. I don't know if this is a Fathom event or if this is coming out 
um, worldwide, but I guess they're they're doing a remake of Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. So I'm just kind of like, wait, I saw that in upcoming movies this weekend, and I'm just like, wait, what? They're remaking that movie? I How have I not heard about that? So anyway, uh, other just quick randomness um i think tonight oh real quick before i even talk about this amc if you guys got amc plus or amc uh the g carlo esposito show starts tonight i was gonna go see um i was gonna go see late night with the devil again um but uh i totally forgot that that show is premiering tonight and I'm just like I'm super excited it looks great G G Carlo I think G Carlo Esposito is playing a priest but he's like a driver I believe he's a driver like Ryan Gosling's character in Drive which I'm just like okay this could be super cool and uh yeah I'm super excited for that and I've been seeing a lot of uh things on TikTok um about the uh, Shutter movie Baghead, uh, someone responded. I can't remember your name if you watch this. I'm sorry, but I definitely will. Um, will do a uh, uh, review, obviously, like I always do. Um, review on the movie later tonight about it. But uh, someone said it's 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 cre- I think they said it's creepy as like talk to me. Talk to me was like. I think it was a really good A24 horror movie, so I'm I'm super excited to check out this Baghead on Shudder. So, um, but yeah, so a lot of good things tonight. I'm gonna watch Baghead, then gonna watch Parish or vice versa. So yeah, now definitely will give you my thoughts on the first episode of Parish. I don't know if it's a two episode night, might just be one, but yeah, I will definitely give you my thoughts. Um, after them so anyway i hope you have a great sunday take care thanks for watching uh follow me give me a like that'd be awesome so take care talk to you soon